Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Pankaj Swami, and in this uh, video today we are discussing a very small topic, uh, but for some reason it has become a controversial topic. Uh, today we will be discussing the first order neuron, second order neuron, and third order neuron of the visual uh, pathway. Uh, basically, I asked uh, a couple of questions on this topic uh, on my Telegram channel, and several of you got this got both the answers wrong uh, and it turns out that some of the review books have mentioned uh, the incorrect answers for this and they've created a controversy even though uh, there's actually no controversy all standard textbooks uh, pretty much agree on this topic right uh, and so at this uh, at the end of this video we'll also uh, be discussing I'll also be showing you. I'll be showing you all the standard uh, references, the standard textbooks, and they all agree on this, right? So let's uh, briefly look into the visual pathway. And uh, so let's first see the two questions that I was uh, that I asked on the Telegram channel. So the first one is this: uh, that optic nerve represents uh, which part of the visual pathway? The option is uh, first order neuron, second order neuron, third order neuron, or the third order neuron. Right? And uh, and then the second question was something like, which is the first order neuron of the visual pathway? Uh, so rods and cones, yeah, that is the photoreceptors, ganglion cells, bipolar cells, or uh, the lateral genital body. Uh, so before we discuss uh, the answers to these questions, let's quickly look at the visual pathway. Uh, so as you guys know uh, that the receptors for the visual pathway are the rods and cones. Uh, the rods and cones relay into the bipolar cells. Uh, the bipolar cells uh, in turn send signals to the ganglion cells. Uh, and the axons of the ganglion cells comprise the optic nerve. Uh, the optic nerve continues uh, at the crosses over at the chiasm and then continues as the optic tract. And finally, uh, the lateral genital body sends of optic radiations to the visual cortex. Right. So uh, the rods and cones are the receptors. Bipolar cells are the first order neurons. Ganglion cells are the second order neuron. Up to the lateral genital body. Uh, you have the uh, second order neuron and then lateral geniculate body uh, gives rise to the third order neuron. So from lateral geniculate body to the visual cortex that comprises the third order neuron of the visual pathway. Now the whole controversy has arised because some books or some review books are saying that rods and cones uh, they, are, they are also the first order neuron. In, in addition to being the receptor, so they are the receptor and the first order neuron. So then bipolar cells are being called the second order neurons, ganglion cells are being called third order neurons, and LGDs being called the fourth order neuron. That is all wrong information uh, because all the standard textbooks uh, they are saying that rods and cones they do have a neural element, right? The photoreceptors they have a neural element but they are not neurons right they, they are basically receptors with a neural element in them the first order neuron per se begins at the bipolar cells so basically what the standard textbooks are saying is that rods and cones are the receptors first order neurons are the bipolar cells second order neurons are ganglion cells third order neurons are lateral genital body. Now, if you change the order, if you start calling photoreceptors as the first order neuron, because they have some neural element, uh, the, the, the books are calling them first order neurons. So that, that kind of is wrong information. So the whole order changes, right? And, and I have supporting references from all standard textbooks, uh, be it the uh, Snell's Anatomy, be it uh, Parson, Kurana, you've got Yanov Dukir, uh, and you also got uh, Albert Jacobi, right? So, uh, this this first one is from Parsons. Uh, you can pause the video and read it if you want. I won't be reading it here. 
and then this one is Kurana uh, of Paranology. Uh, the third one is uh, Snell's Anatomy of the Eye. Mm. Then even some articles on PubMed um, mention the same thing: bipolar cells, first order ganglion cells, second order and lactogenucleate body, third order. You know. Now I came across uh, this mnemonic uh, in one of the Facebook forums uh, where they say that PUBC is uh, the order is the mnemonic to remember first, second, third. That four receptors are the first bipolar, second, and uh, ganglion cell third. So please do not follow these random, uh, you know, uh, Facebook groups because this is wrong information, uh, as I showed you based on the references. Right. So I hope that uh, based on references, it's clear once and for all uh, that what answers you need to mark in the exam for questions like this. So we just uh, briefly discuss uh, what the answers were to those two questions that I asked. So this first one. Uh, optic now represents which part of the visual pathway, so it's going to be uh, second order, right? Uh, because optic nerve uh, is uh, basically the axons of the uh, retinal uh, ganglion cells. Uh, the, the axons continue as the optic nerve, and uh, ganglion cells are the second order neurons. Uh, bipolar cells are the first order neurons. And then the second one, uh, second question, which is the first order neuron. So again, uh, this one is going to be bipolar cell is first order neuron, ganglion cell, second order neuron, and the lateral genetic body is going to be the third order neuron. So that's it. Uh, this was a small video uh, to basically clear the air about this uh, topic. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. Uh, please hit the like button if you did. And also subscribe if you are new. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next video.